What's up guys, it's me, or I'm me, and I'm back with some Wii Sports Resort. Now today, we're going to take a break from all the rage, that sword play, basketball, table tennis, what have you, what all this stuff has. We're going to be doing some secret stuff. We're going to be doing some archery and some bowling. Now, there's some secret stuff in there that I want to get through, so let's do some of those. That may have been a really bad way of wording it, but there's just a bunch of secret stuff. So we're going to start off with archery, because that has a lot of secret stuff in it. Now, if you don't know, there's a thing in archery called secret targets that you can shoot. And I'm going to be going at them all day. So that's, that's going to be fun. So we're starting off in beginner, because I'm a noob. So let's just, let's have a nice little, let's have a nice little, okay. Now that's boring. That's boring getting just pen points. So we're gonna go for some secret secret targets. Now if you never heard of them, they're little targets that are hidden throughout the whole stage. They're mainly fruit or food and stuff. Now this one is over here. You see this guy over here? Yeah, that's a secret target. So we're probably gonna be shooting at that guy first because well, that was dumb. Why did I say that? We're probably we are gonna be shooting at this guy first. Now you need to aim up just a little bit, and you'll get this good camera angle. Now, that the camera angle means that you're semi-decently close. So, if we were to angle that just a little bit more, like this, steady, we, okay, we need some more leverage. We should be able to get it next time if we get some, a little bit more leverage. Okay, apparently we're not, because it's on to the next stage. Okay, so this one, this one's over to the left, and it's up top here. Or this little watermelon guy up top. That was way too high. Okay. So if you get them, it's not like extra points or anything. It's just 10 points. Oh, why am I going crazy right now? Come on. I need to aim goodly. Come on. Okay. There we go. That's too low. <sighs> it's fine. It's fine. We, we got another run. We got another run coming, okay? It's fine. Uh... This one over here is above this pole here. Um, so let's try to shoot at this one. That's a little bit too high, I think. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, too high. Oh? is I think that's, an, ah, that's way too high again. Come on. I keep shooting it way too high. Because you're supposed to angle it like... Right there. There we go. Come on. We got... That was... That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, we just grazed it, just slightly, just a t tap, just a tap. Come on. Okay, so this one is a cake, and it's off to the right here of the pole thing. It's right there. You see that? Yeah. Okay, so the wind is pushing us. Okay, I forgot. The wind is a big factor in this. You got to see which way the wind's going in order to know where to shoot it. Ah, you saw... Ah. It just slightly just gives it a little tap to the side. That's just... I know it's only 3 miles per hour, but it's just tapping me to the side. Come on! Wow. What a great start. We missed all freaking 3. Okay, so we're starting again on beginner because I need to make these. These... These things are taunting me right now. Come on. I don't know how high to get because it's just like freaking... The higher I go, like, I'm up here, and it still, like, shoots, like, down there, and it's crazy. Okay, so, let's pop it up pretty high. Ah, what the heck? How far away is this freaking thing? I've hit it before. I've hit almost all these before. I just can't seem to get it this time. Is that too high? Ooh. 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 Oh, we got it this time, boys. Oh, yes, that, look, that's a great image. We just got that one. That's crazy. Okay. So, let's get this watermelon. Come on. Come on, two for two. Two for freaking two. Let's go. Dude, two in a row. Three. Come on, three. That's a little bit too high, I think. No, no, that's perfect. That is perfect. See, I just need the first warm-up run. That's all I need. Screw the main target. This is way more fun. Uh, just graze the nipple. 
just grazed it. Okay, so we may we got the first two. Let's try this one. A little too high, I think. Ah, I keep overshooting them. I don't know why. Okay, so we probably need to hit probably need to angle just like right there. Ah too low. Ah, just too little, just too little. It's fine. We are very close. We are very close. There, that's gotta be it. That's Am I too far to the left? No, I'm too far to the left. Oh no! Oh, that ruined the freaking run. Come on, man. If I were to aim it just a little bit more to the right, that would have been that would have been blazing. I would have blazed that. Wait, what's the wind? Crap, let's just hit this. Wow, great shot. Okay, so the wind is four miles per hour, so we gotta go here. Yes. Yes. Mm, just missed it. There we go. Is that too far? Ah, too little. Too little. I'm getting really close. Okay, it's fine. We got we got two out of the four. Not bad. Okay, so we're moving on to intermediate here. Now, these are a little bit more hard to find. This one's on the court over here. So let's just... That was a little bit too much. Um, So this one is on the... You gotta aim up just a little bit. It's just chill on the court there. Wow, we need to aim up way more than just a little bit. I mean, we're almost getting on the ricochet. If the ricochet counted, eh, that's too high. Whatever. Oh, right through the fence. Okay, so that one's that one. That one's pretty hard to get. This one right here. This is up top here. Hopefully, we can get a first try. This is a little bugger. Oh, two. Okay. There's a little bit more up and a little bit more to the... That's that's too... Ah, I don't know how high up to get because if I go too high, it's just going to skyrocket over top. See, like, this is too high, I think. Oh, I underestimated the... I underestimated the wind. Or overestimate the wind. I thought it would be way more, but it's not. Okay. This one is really weird because it's right there, but if you aim at it, like up top, it doesn't like it doesn't do the cool camera thing. You gotta aim like right there. And it doesn't do the camera thing. This one's like and if you aim down here. Oh, never mind. I thought it wouldn't do the camera thing. I've oh wow. I was overshooting this whole thing, never mind. Okay, that was... Ooh, okay. So this one up top is to the right, and it's a piece of bread. So let's let's freaking get this bread and get out of here. No, that was way too high. Okay. So the wind is one mile per hour. Not that bad. Not bad. Uh, just a little bit too high. Just a little, little too high. Just a little bit too high. Ah, uh, too high again. It's fine. So yeah, so those were the intermediate ones. So we're gonna pass on to expert. Now we've made it. This one's probably the hardest one to do because the camera angle again doesn't like to work. It's all the way over there. You gotta aim so far up to get remotely close to it. So right there we. Oh, we shot a little bit too far up, which is fine. We can just... See, I shot like in the same place twice, and it doesn't feel like doing it. Okay, see, let's see. Do you see how far that goes? Yeah, we were... I don't know why the camera does that. It's so weird. Okay, so we're going to the next one. This one's probably one of the easiest... Legit, like, half the easiest ones oh, are in experts, which is crazy. Okay. Mm, I'm calling it easy, and I'm failing to hit this. There we There we go. Let's go. There we friggin' go. Third shot's a charm. Okay, so next one, we're just gonna soak that image in. Sweet. Um, next one is 
up in the ruins. It's up top here. So we can chip this one off first try. Okay, a little bit too high. A little too high. Now the wind is not a factor, surprisingly. Normally whenever I play this game, the wind's like freaking 30 miles per hour. I'm like, how the heck am I doing this? There we go. No, too low. I got close to it the first few times. Okay, now this next one is probably the easiest one. And I'm saying that as I'm going to miss it. It's over here. It's camouflaged into the background. Oh, we just went over top of it. There we go. Bam. Look at that. 3.9. Oh, it would have been way better if it was a different number with a 9. Okay. Oh, we just blazed over top of it. Okay, it's fine. So those were the secret targets in archery. Now we go into secret other things in other sports. Okay, so next we got bowling. And this isn't the 100-pin bowling now. You've probably heard of this secret right here. But I'm just going to do it anyway because it's pretty cool. Now, okay, so first starting off in bowling, if you want a different colored ball, you just press the arrows. Now, I'm not sure which color is which, but I'm pretty sure... I know that the right the right arrow, the here let me just show you right here. The this one right here, pretty sure that's a gold ball, and then this one's a green ball. So if we hold this one down, a button, if we hold this down right here, we should get a green ball. Okay, no, we get a red ball. That's just how it works. Okay. Now secret targets in this, as you can see, we're just on a little lane here thing, and you're like, dude, there's nothing here. But, if you ride the rail here, you should, if we can ride it all the way, the first try, that'd be awesome. But, if you ride it all the way, oh, we just almost had it. There was, if you could, if you had good eyes, um, you could see a red button at the very end. Now, that red button, um, you see that over there? Right over there? At the end of the thing? Yeah, that knocks down every single pin. It's an automatic strike. And it's amazing. Now let's try to... G We're just going to try to go for that the whole time here, okay? Okay. So let's aim again. You got to get the perfect angle. And that's just how hard it is. The other good part about that... Ooh, look at that number. Um, The other good part about this is... Is that if you miss and you make it back onto this thing... This happens. It's like a freaking domino effect. Like, every pin just slowly... Just slowly falls into each other and it's awesome. Except then you look, you look in the top left, and you see all those pins, you're like, what the heck? How am I supposed to get a spare off this? It's crazy. Okay. Okay, so, I'm probably gonna go for the, this thing, whether it's a strike or not. If I miss the first time, I'm, probably, I'm just trying to get the button so I can show you guys some quality content. Now, it would be more impressive if all the pins were up, because then all of them would fall down. Oh, come on! We did the same thing again! I had that same angle just earlier. There we go. Nah, you need just a little spin on it, just enough to keep it on, but then it needs to stay on. That's the hard part about it. My voice just goes in this weird talking motion whenever I'm talking about this. It's so weird. Oh, wow. We almost just got a spare off that. That would have been crazy. Okay. Enough lollygagging. We need to get this down. We need to get this down. That's a little bit too much. There we go. Up top and... Ah! Honestly, I think this one's a little bit harder than the secret targets in, um, archery. Because in that, you you can angle it maybe a couple, four or five times, you can get it. This one, as you can see, I'm on my sixth frame and I didn't even get it once. That's just how bedonkers it is. Yes, yes. Look at this. Boom, baby, look at all that. That's crazy. You hear a little psh sound. And then everyone's just like, bah! I'm freaking Harry Potter up in this. Okay, so let's sleep. That's a strike. That was a pretty nice strike. So let's see if we can do it. If we can get it double in a row, that would, okay. It's fine. We're just gonna go out on that one. Okay, so some more little secrets and stuff. If you um are playing basketball or sword play, you can, um... Now, I can't do it in basketball because... Okay, maybe I can do it in basketball. Um, but... If you're playing as... If you're not playing Tommy, 
as you can see, Tommy is a night game. So if I change my me, let's go, um, fartbag. Uh, let's go, yeah. So, if we can, you gotta hold down 1 and 2 as you're on this OK button. And then you will get a night game. See? Look at this. You see that? You see how nighttime it is and stuff? Yeah. So, you'll play a night the whole time. Even if you, uh, quit and, like, restart and stuff. Uh, like, restart and stuff. Um, you're still gonna be a night game. So that's pretty cool, I would say. And then another one, if you're playing sword play, and you're going into the dual option. Um, again, when you're on the OK button. No, we're not gonna play as you. When you're on the OK button, um, you hold down 1 and 2 again, and instead of a day game, you will get a evening game, which is also pretty nifty. So, yeah, that's just how, those are some secrets in the game and stuff. Okay, so as I just said, those were some of the secrets in um, Wii Sports Resorts. They were pretty cool to play with and stuff, and it was a fun time. Now, if you want to see more Wii Sports Resort in general, comment down below, hey, I want more Wii Sports Resort in general. I'll be like, okay, I will do that. Anyway, uh, I'm on both the champions for um, basketball and table tennis, so hopefully I'll shoot out some videos of them to you soon. But anyway, thanks for watching this. If you liked it, hit the like button down below because I told you to, and subscribe because I need them. Anyway, have a great day, and I'll see y'all soon.